So I get people from time to time that'll comment on some of my videos and they'll say, why should I quit smoking weed? You tell me why. I work out every day, I go to work, I do all my duties. You tell me, why should I quit smoking weed? <laughs> I'm not here to convince anybody of anything. Understand that? Years ago, I remember I, uh, my mentor in sales used to, used to say to me, you are, we are not in the convincing business. It's, if you have to convince someone to buy a product or a service, then you'll have to keep convincing them. Because all of a sudden, when the uh, emotional manipulation tactics have worn off, that's when the buyer's remorse comes in, maybe they'll return it, uh, relapse, whatever. Really, what we're in is the presenting business, sharing information. And then from there, we work with the willing. We, it's a lot easier to get people to buy than it is to sell and to force them in against their will. And so I'm in the convincing business. I'm just here sharing information and, pre and presenting to those that see what I see. My message either re resonates with you or it doesn't. If you are happy smoking weed, uh, uh, keep on smoking. My message isn't for you. I, my message is for those who are done with it, who are so done with this and are ready to turn their life around and to work towards reaching their, their, their maximum potential in their life. And when it comes to the why, you know, saying, why should I quit smoking weed? Understand this, that is arguably the most important factor when it comes to, to quitting weed, the why. Because see, when the why is big enough, the how will figure itself out. When the why is great enough, then when the obstacles come, which they inevitably will, that why will pull you, will pull you through even when every ounce of you feels like quitting and giving up and going back to, you know, getting toasted every day. All of a sudden, a, you know, a, a hurdle appears in front of you. You got that strong enough why, jump over it. All of a sudden, a, you know, a wall appears in front of you. You got that strong why. Maybe you can't jump over it now. Maybe go under it, around it. But that why will give you that energy to keep fighting. Or if you don't have a strong enough why, and just like I was saying, you know, get the buyer's remorse, you get regret, you know, whatever. I'm going right back to, you know, smoking weed. Because there's going to be ups and downs, highs and lows. Times you just feel absolutely amazing. And then all of a sudden, the next day, you may feel down in the dumps. That's inevitable. That's a part of the healing process. But that why, that'll, that is that reinforcement, that needed reinforcement to keep you fighting when, uh, you know, every other part of you just wants to give up. The why. So whether you are smoking weed or you have quit, you're on the fence, wherever you are at. Maybe you just watch my videos for inspiration, which is fine. Got nothing but love for you guys, wherever you're at in the journey. But this is my exercise that I got for you today. Just take two minutes out of your life today to write down why. Why you want to quit smoking weed or why you aspire to quit smoking weed. And there is no right or wrong answer for this. This is an individual journey. Only you can, uh, only, we each have our own why. But you want to have a why that is strong enough, not something that, you know, if you want to have a why that almost brings you to tears. Those are the best kinds of why. Because, you know, for example, working with people in weight loss and things like that, if someone, ah, you know, I just want to, I just want to lose some weight, get that summer bod. It, that can be a motivation, but the one who will keep fighting no matter what is their why is so strong, they literally might die. Because maybe they're gonna, their doctor told them they're gonna have a heart attack if they don't lose weight, and they want to be there for their children. That's a why that'll keep someone going. And so you're gonna have to do some soul searching and digging and see why. Why do you want this kind of life, right? Why, 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 why? Our questions, our our lives are ruled by questions unconsciously. And I want to end it on this, on one last thing. You know, to the people that write these types of comments on my on my video, um, why not? Why not quit smoking weed? Why not wake up every single day and, get, and, and, and give every single day your absolute best? Why not try to reach your maximum potential in this life? Why not change a habit in your life that'll begin to improve your health? Why not change a habit in your life that'll allow your brain to function more optimally and allow you to think better, have better focus, better memory, why not, all right?
So with that being said, guys, let's make it a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year. <laughs> let's make it a great life.